Today I'm going to be showing you how to balance objects on your face. Now there's a lot of misconceptions about this. For example, many people believe that larger objects are harder to balance than smaller ones. But the opposite is actually true, so we are going to be starting off with a large object like a broom. First, take your broom or other similar object and balance it on your hand. You will want to stare at the top of the broom and match its movements with your hand. If it is moving too fast for your hand to catch up, you can also move your feet and follow it. Once you're able to do that without dropping the broom, balance the broom without any feet movement. You're going to need to keep it more controlled with your hand, and rather than waiting for the broom to tilt a lot before correcting it, try and make small adjustments very often. Now for the last step before balancing it on your face, you'll do the opposite as last time. Now you will lock your hand in one position and only make adjustments using your feet. You can make tiny movements with your hand, but try and keep it as still as possible. This is similar to balancing it on your face as you only have limited movement with your neck and head and it does not move as freely as your hand does. Once you can do that for a little while, we're gonna try balancing it on your chin. When most people first try, they will not hold the broom straight up and down, but instead closer to a 45 degree angle. If you have someone else around you, have them help line it up with you and let you know when it's completely vertical. If you're by yourself, just hold it a little further back than you think it should be. Even if it tilts a little too far backwards, that is okay, as you can take a step back and adjust it once you see it start falling. You can also balance it on your nose, however, heavier objects tend to want to slip off. Your forehead is possible too, and is only a little more difficult than your chin for most people. If you ever want to perform something like this for crowds, I would recommend using your forehead as it does not obstruct your face. Keep practicing balancing it on your desired part of your face until you can keep it up there for a long time and feel comfortable. If you are content here, you can stop, but most people want to keep pushing themselves with something more difficult. If you want more of a challenge, try balancing something that is shorter. Take the same steps you learned with the broom and learn how to balance the various ways with the new object, eventually balancing it on your face. You can even try and balance very small objects like a pen, but I still find that one pretty difficult. If you have any questions or problems, or you have any ideas for any future tutorials, I'd love to hear them, so let me know in the comments. I come out with new videos every Tuesday and every Friday, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you for watching.